Hi again, this is a basic video to show the basic meanings, meanings of the wands in my new tarot deck. So here, uh, there's 14 cards. We'll go through this fairly quickly. Uh, the first card is the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is that card that has that feeling like you're super jazzed about some new adventure that's coming along in your life. Uh, you can't, you're, you're overwhelmed with that feeling of really wanting to get involved. Inverted, it is that feeling like you won't let yourself get involved with this adventure. But the adventure is there. The energy is there. You just don't want to experience it. Uh, you won't let yourself experience it. The Two of Wands is the card of feeling like you're missing out on life. It's that looking out, thinking that the grass is always greener on the other side of the, the, of the fence. It is that feeling that you, you just have this need, this inner feeling that you have to get out there and do something. Inverted, it is that feel, that same feeling, um, but with regard to not letting yourself go, it's kind of like uh, waiting for an event that never happens. It's waiting for that package to arrive that never gets there. It's waiting for a job to come your way, but it never gets there. The Three of Wands is a card of uh, kind of initial completion. It's that state of being prepared. It is as if you've packed all your bags, You've bought your ticket, you've set up your books, you've got everything ready, and you're sitting in the airport, you're waiting for that flight to take off. Inverted, it is that feeling that even though you're you're fully prepared, you have that aching feeling like you forgot a bag, or your ticket's gonna take you to the wrong place, or that your flight left a half hour ago. It's that feeling like there's something un unstable, there's something that you've missed out on, something that you uh, that hasn't completed yet. The Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is that that very confident feeling like you can get things done. Work is easy. You're just waiting for that next thing to come along because you can do it. Um, it is a highly confident state. And the reverse card is that feeling uh, like everything you've been doing, it just turned out to be wrong, and now you're going to have to go back and do it again, over again. It's, it's kind of being corrected. It's like, oh, I just worked on all that stuff, and now i got to go do it all again. The Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is that, uh, it carries that feeling like the, the game is in progress. You've been practicing and practicing to get into the game, and you just got put in. It is that point where you get to get out. It's like playing football. You get to get out there. You're going to get hit. You're going to get chase after the ball. You get to compete with all the others. There's going to be competition. There's going to be irritation with that. Reversed, it's that feeling like you've been forced to have to play the game and you don't want to play the game. You don't want to get thrown in. You don't want to have to compete. You don't want to have to get irritated by the situation. You're doing everything you can to avoid it. The Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is a state of uh, pride and recognition. It's it is that feeling that the public will acknowledge your uh, new stat status. It's like getting MD behind your name. It is a, a, a position of uh, high esteem. Reversed, it is a position where you may feel like you've earned this more than anybody else, but nobody's respecting you for what you did. People have disdain for what's happening rather than uh, excitement. The Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is um, is kind of that situation where you're in a position uh, that you you get to defend and you speak the truth about it, and it's undeniable. It's undeniable. You spoke the truth, yet you're being challenged with regard to that truth, and so you hold your ground, knowing that what you said is the truth, yet still being challenged. Here in the reversed position. It is, uh, it's, it's more of um, feeling like you've taken on too much. It's, it's too hard of a position and you have to step back. You have to uh, get a little bit more defensive with that. The Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is that feeling, that super confidence that you have that knowing that the arrow is going to hit its mark before you even pull back the bowstring. Super confidence. Here, uh, in the reverse position, it is that that unsure of your foot position. It's like standing in the middle of a whirlwind, not even being able to draw the bowstring back, being tossed around, completely unsure of what's which direction's up. 
The Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is a card of uh, determination. It is that deep inner drive to finish. Uh, it is it is that that state that comes to you when you're 23 miles into a 26 mile long marathon, and you can't quit. You have to get done. You find that energy to make it happen. You're going to drive this all the way to the end. In the reverse position, this particular card is a a feeling like uh, it's a it's an ache in your stomach, like you're on the edge of a cliff and you can't look down. It is uh, as if you're going to fall off the cliff. You can't go any farther. The Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a uh, a position, uh, a feeling like like it's it's a feeling like you have uh, you can't go on vacation because you have a job that's tied you down. Uh, it is those responsibilities that are preventing you from enjoying life. Um, in the reversed situation, those same responsibilities are there, but it is a feeling as if even though you're working and working and working towards that, those goals and those responsibilities, nobody really cares. Who cares? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> so that's the first 10 cards of the wands. The next four are the, the royal cards. Um, the royal cards are generally people that come into your life with these characteristics. The first one would be the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is, it, the energy associated with this card is like being in the presence of a five or six year old uh, boy playing in the sandbox. He's imagined this amazing uh, uh, adventure that's going on around him and you just get sucked into it. You become part of his imagination, part of his dream. In the case of the reverse position, that reverse position is a a position where you've gotten sucked in and you're now feeling conned in the situation. You've been taken for a ride. Things aren't, the reality isn't there of what you were thinking. The Knight of Wands is the feeling like this has to be done and it has to be done right now. There's, it's, it's, a, it's an overwhelming feeling that things have to get taken care of right now. When it goes to the flip side, this is that feeling like things have to be taken care of right now regardless of the consequences of those actions. The Queen of Wands is kind of that uh, that feeling, that super mom feeling. It's like being in the presence of the, the person that can do anything and everything for everybody. She's there on time. She's up early. She's in bed late. She's capable of doing everything. Any project can come along, it's, it falls right in her lap. It's no problem. It's going to be really easy to get it done. Here, in the reverse position, <clears throat> rather than being in harmony with all of that, this is the, a little bit more inharmonic, feeling like uh, you're being forced to have to service others. It's like being in the situation where uh, you don't have a choice. You are forced to have to do something. You are forced to be in the presence of, of something that needs to be done, even though you didn't necessarily want it to be done. The king. The king is, is like being in the presence of a natural born leader. This is somebody that you can stand next to that, that when they call on you, you are all excited because you're recognized by that person that's running things, that person that's making the decisions, that person that, uh, that everybody follows and wants to be around. In the reversed position, uh, this is a feeling that... Uh, it's a it's a misled feeling. It's it's following that leader that's taking you to the wrong places. It is being around somebody working for a cause that might not be the right cause. Anyway, that is the uh, suit of wands. Um, feel free to stick around, and we'll see if we can bring up another suit or two. <laughs>